Welcome back, everyone! We are playing Code Vein, getting the good ending in New Game Plus. Um, extra difficulty. I'm not sure what they actually call the difficulty. They just were like, hey, do you want to use the harder difficulty exclusive to New Game Plus? And yeah, that's what we are doing. So we just arrived at the second half of the Cathedral of Sacred Blood, uh, which is where the first decisions to actually get uh, the good ending appear. Uh, we have to get um, all of um, her name's name Aurora, I think. All of Aurora's um, uh, vestiges, and I don't think we have any of them right now. I think they're all in the second part. Yeah. So we need to find all of those. I think it's three. I'm not entirely sure. We need to find them before we fight the boss. Uh, and we need to present them to the attendant of the successor of the Ruby Cage, or Aurora. Um, kinda hoping Kotori comes in to help. Uh, I've sent a distress signal, sent it before um, I started the stream actually. I don't remember, is there an invasion here? Wait. What's that shadow? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm slow, I'm very slow. I'm so slow. Oh, because I switched to my uh, my red coat, that's why. Oh, wow. Extreme lag. That's on my end, that's not actually the stream. That's, that's on my end. Huh. I've changed some settings on OBS to hopefully reduce the horrible frame rate issues we've been having. Um, which have only gotten worse, I feel. Um, okay, let's see. Hopefully it's not an innovation. What's an innovation? Good. Oh, that's where you get the Nagimokuro! Nice! I have the Nagimokuro right here. Um, I really don't like fighting these enemies down here. Um, I don't want slow, so I'm going to change to something. Could change to the Night Thorn or the Night Claw. I'm not sure which which one is my best option. Probably the Night Claw. Yeah, that gives me S dexterity as well with my buffs, so. That is definitely a good call. I uh, might want to switch out my lightning, though. <clears throat> Reduces guard a dodge speed? Is that good or bad? Like... <laughs> Do they mean that it reduces my speed, or that it reduces the time it takes to dodge? Because that's two very different things. Um, I don't need that anymore. Uh, hmm. Iron Will is good. Yeah, let's put Iron Will into our setup here. I don't use Cleansing Light much anymore, so I want, might want to switch that out as well. I think I'm going to put Final Journey there and put a, um, a ranged attack on... this part. Wait. Can I remove a um how do I remove? How do I remove a um skill like that? Okay, so no, it's not uh for a second there I thought that my um equipped skills actually affected my um 
uh, weight, which seemed a bit odd. Uh, I probably want my Hanamuko there, yeah. That should be good if they're at the up. How about muscle strength if they're at the up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Also, where's Kotori? Oh well, they're probably just busy with something. I've sent them the message that it's up. Okay. God, I hate these enemies so much. Their fucking backstab um, uh, hitbox is like impossible to find most of the time. Boom, that went pretty well. If it's just one and you can actually get the first dodge in, it's not too bad. It's that first dodge that's easily the worst. Okay, there's another one. <clears throat> She's not gonna see us. Maybe we can sneak up on her then. That would help. Oh, we're not fast enough. We're not fast enough! How's that not a backstab? There's the backstab. I haven't played with Rita lately. Rita had been playing at different hours than me, so it's not really worked out in our favor. Hopefully we get to play together again soon, though. I'm getting miss I'm getting tweets about Harvest Moon, and I want to I want to reply, but I'm gonna have to wait and do that later. Um, I think we're gonna go this way first. I don't clearly remember how this part works, but I think this is like the wrong way, which means there might be a vestige here. Well, there's no vestige here. Or any ledge to drop down on. Strange. Oh, that's a big one. No, I really did not want to see that message. Oh, we're super dead now. Okay, well, first and foremost, we are going to... No! Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Mm. Well, okay, we're not going down there. Oh, God, what if the vestige is past that point, though? Oh, I have to go there. Ugh. Still no message from Kotori. Yes, we were very much unprepared. And yeah, I also see the chest. We can't get to that yet. Ugh. God damn. Like I was, th that was that was the um, invasion. I knew, like, I knew there was an invasion around here somewhere. I think I actually cleared it, but I think it was with Rita's help that I cleared it uh, in the first round of the game. But like the invasions are so fucking notorious in this game because they don't end. Like, pretty much every single, um, pretty much every single invasion is like. Just countless waves of enemies, so like... It's not just that you can- you, you, you can't just like... Simply get through through it because you're like good at fighting enemies, because like... They will just wear you down, like... Yeah, you can beat five enemies, maybe, but can you beat 25 enemies? You know, you're not getting more health, you're not getting more healing items. Oh god, my heal- my fucking haste is over there. Nothing gained. Um, it seems like there is a room forward to the right here, and I'm worried there's a vestige there. I'm very worried there's a vestige there. 
Can I even get in there though? That's like a way up. I have to go from there for that. But it's also a room in the middle. Mmm, fuck it, we're going for it. Did I, how did I miss that? Okay, there we go. There's no vestige here. Good to know. Okay, we are we are going to die on purpose. Um, or well, actually, if we don't die, that's fine. But we're going to rush back on purpose, and they are going to chase us to hell and back, and because uh, they can teleport up ladders. If you didn't know that, um, I think that's something only the invasion enemies can do. Regular enemies can't do that, um, but invasion enemies can. It's really annoying. Um, but... Oh, fuck! <clears throat> there we go. Haha! -ha. Not enough to level up. Oh, well. <laughs> it wasn't really worth it to go back. I could have just died instead, but... Oh, well. Whatever. I should have bought more region inducers from uh, Coco before I left, but I didn't think about that. Didn't realize I was out of them. Okay, well, let's continue. Okay, and she's going to disappear, and she hit me. That means, makes it more annoying. It means I have to... Ah, there we go, good. Uh, Yakumo, what the fuck are you doing? It took you that long to climb up the fucking stairs. Seriously? Had I gotten one hit more, more hit, hit in there when she was stunned, I wouldn't have taken most of that damage, but oh well. Okay, she turns around. Ah, oh, fuck. You can, like, activate so that you can run faster without making a sound, but, I don't know, it seems like a waste of light court to me. Okay. Let's see. Queen's Guard, okay. Oh, that was nice. It's an instant hit. We like that. Oh, well. One hit is fine, I guess. I can take one hit. Okay, um, we can go down there, but let's see what's around here first. No vestige, but a ladder. A ladder we can't kick down yet. Okay. I have Yakumo specifically because he's good in close quarters combat, but like he's so slow at following me today that he's not really helping that much. God, I remember this room. I think I ran here when I was chased by the invaders the first time, because I think like my haste ended up in the middle room here. I have a vague recollection of that, or I fell down or something. No, falling down seems like death, so I probably didn't fall down, but... Um... Oh wait, no. No, you can fall down there. Probably not recommended though, since you can climb down, but still. Let's climb up first. Survey our location. Well, that's not going to be a vestige. Vestige doesn't appear in chest, so you know what? I'm just not going to bother with them. <laughs> they can stand there. Guard that chest all they want. It's probably just a weapon I already have anyway. Okay. Let's not check. Still no message from Kotori. So we're gonna continue our solo quest. I mean, it went fine last time, didn't it? Probably be like breaking down on that boss, but like, you know, that's code vein for you. 
would have happened multiplayer or solo. Bodies that I think are actually dead? Yeah. Hmm. Blue lanterns. That has some kind of significance. I don't remember these. Oh, fuck. Hello. Ah, shit. I missed the dodge there. Well, keep up. I'm not running far ahead, you're falling far behind. It's a, it's a difference. You have teleportation powers too, so like... Uh-huh. Ah, mm. oh, message. But that looks... That doesn't look safe at all. How do I get up there? Probably through here, right? I said I think that there was three vestiges here, but that's, I could be completely wrong. I might be thinking of another area. That's the problem, since I didn't get the good ending last time. I don't actually know how many vestiges there are for each part. Hey! Kotter is coming! Oh, wow, I actually managed to dodge that. Oh, that worked out fine. Oh, can't pick that up. Oh, yeah, because we're waiting for... There we go. Freeze frame. Little Wing rushed over to assist you! Yay! Um, Cool, we have fire weapons. Okay, so the vestige is right there. Bloop. Isis Vestige Part E? Wait, E? Are there five parts to it in this first area? Holy fuck. That's a lot. Okay, let's see. Could go up there, could also check here first. This seems to be a smaller area after all. Oh, it's an item. Okay. A tomato Odin sandwich. I remember getting that last time. Although I think last time I had Rita like guide me at this point. Maybe? Actually, I don't remember. It was around here that Rita joined me. It was the first time I played with someone I actually knew. Mm. Oh, hello. Oh, 
how this place is so white. Um, it's bright and it's white. Okay. Oh wait, we came from here. <laughs> I am good at this. Uh, this is where I'm meant to go. It's not really much of a branch, Yakumo, considering one is a closed door, but you know. You do you, I suppose. Uh, you need a shoddy key. A shoddy key, huh? I don't remember that. It would have been hilarious if that was a shoddy key. <laughs> Where are we now? God, I'm so lost. This place is so confusing. Uh, where are we? No, that's the start. This is just a shortcut. Okay, well, uh, where could the shoddy key be? I actually don't know. It's an item over there, apparently. It's a dagger, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Times like this, I wish I could chat and ask Kotori. Well, I guess I can actually, I can just tap into Discord. Uh, do you... I can't spell today. Remember where the shoddy key is. Hmm. Now we wait. Uh, what was this? Oh, that, that was the vestige. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Uh, whoop. I don't think I ever continued this way. I saw the vestige and then I ran back. So maybe it's here. Oh, hello, monkey. Nice to see you. That's Queen Steel. God damn it. There's a hidden path. Like, well, there is a path somewhere here. And I'm not sure how to get to it or what level it's on. Is it below or above? Seemingly below. Okay. So it's a lower level of the interior part here. How do I get there? How do I get there? Gonna see if Kotori answered. Chest near early missile. No! Oh, it's the chest I skipped because of the fucking guards guarding it. Okay, well. No, no, oh, no. They, okay, no, no. I know, it's not that one. It's another chest. Okay, I know which one it is. Um, How do we get to it, though? How do we get to it? I am not super sure about that. Hmm. 
<laughs> There's no stairs way up here. This place is so confusing. You know what this game could could have used them? A uh, 3D map like Metro Prime, or just a way to tell what level is what. To be honest, uh, you don't even need a 3D map for that. Just I don't know, color coded or something. Uh, let me go this way, maybe. What's Kotori doing? Where, where's Kotori? Kotori walked over here, but there's no path there. Oh, there's a path down there. How do I get there? Oh. I dropped down. That makes sense. Now what? Do I go up or... Oh, maybe it is up where the um, two enemies were guarding the chest then. Because I noticed a chest right before... Right right in the first... Or rather, in the missile room past the first boss. Um, there's a chest right there, but you can't get to it without like entering the room from another angle. I don't think you can do that yet. But yeah, I guess up here is where the uh, double guards were, right? And I was like, nope. Yeah, it was. Well, <sighs> fuck me, I guess. I was certain those were not mandatory. Let's go. That felt good. Shoddy key indeed. I guess that's where they give you a shortcut too. Let me just quickly get back to where we were. Right, where's the shortcut? Uh, shortcut would be... Somewhere... I don't know where I am. Probably further down then. I'm just gonna drop down. Fuck this. Where the hell am I? God, I am so fucking lost. Oh, what's this? That's another key. God damn it. <sighs> you know what? No. I can just use a missile route. I can't because we're playing multiplayer. God damn it. Mm. Maybe it was here then. Maybe I was the one remembering correctly. <sighs> Navigating this place sucks. Oh yeah, I was right, cool. I'm not sure how we use keys to unlock those things, levers, but you know. Oh, fuck! Was not prepared for that. Nice. 
well, I guess it's just dropping down here. There's nothing else to do. Hello, monkeys. Is that it? A monkey? <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, it went different ways. Oh, cool, not a vestige. Good. <sighs> A, so now we have A and E. So we need B, C, and D. That's how the alphabet works. Is this where we can't? No, no, it's not. It's good. Ornate key! Yay! Everything is coming together. So I wasn't entirely wrong. There was a key in that in that chest. Just not the key that I initially was thinking about how the fuck do we get back now oh I guess I have to drop down here but won't that trigger the invasion um yeah there's no way up I mean I guess we could drop down by the chest but Hmm. This is probably safer to drop down by the chest to avoid the invasion. Or we can maybe drop down here. No, we can't. And now it would be down. Where was the um? That was all the way over there. So like, where was? I am very confused. I think it was further. Up. Yeah, oh, hello. So it's like up here and then to the left. There is no left. No, there is a left. Okay, I can just drop down here. Cool. <clears throat> and then it's like around. No. Okay, so it's like out the window? Maybe? Up? That's not right. It isn't right at all. This is wrong. But, uh. Maybe if we walk this way. No, that's a ladder up. We need to go down. God, I'm so lost. Where are we? Um, back here. <laughs> I 
mean, it has to be. Uh, like, uh, south door. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. I'm just trying to figure out how to get there. It, it must be down here, but we already did this routine like just five, like just like a minute ago. Oh, here's the way down. Cool, and then uh, we go this way. No, that's wrong. Further down. Oh, oh, almost fell down. Oh, it's okay. I can't fall down. Ouch. That's okay. Found it. Okay, no access to the middle part. Well, no, oh, we're not nearly done. No, wait, I don't. I need two more. Okay, so apparently it's just three. That's annoying. <sighs> this is complicated. Why is it called A, C, and E if it's also one, two, and three? Anyway, here it is. The moment of truth. Yeah, yeah, we know. <clears throat> okay, so there's D. But then where's B? Seriously. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm missing one. Oh, I got a pound cake from Yakimo. And another personal me from Coco. So the real question is, where can that B vestige be? <laughs> B. Mm. It's highly unlikely it's in the first section. Hmm. Although we do have a locked door left there. I'm sure two locked doors left there. But I don't think they would put one in the first section. This is really infuriating. Um, can drop down there. That locked door is just for this. That, that's, that's to get to the, um, to the to the mountains later. Can't unlock that one. Um, okay. Where did we? What did we do here? We've been all over here as well, so... Oh fuck! Mm. I was talking to God already. Well, I'm glad the lock on just decided to not even attack in the right direction. That's really wonderful. Kotor is think it's in the first, uh, it's in the ambush scene, but like we checked that, so I don't know. Guess we'll, f guess we'll check again. Um, which one is it? It's that one. Mm. Go! Mimikyu, don't do that. Okay, can't even see me make you right now. It's a shame. Need to figure out a better streaming setup angle. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh, fuck. okay, fine. Yeah, 
I get it. You don't want to sit on the shelf. Got it. Cool. It's really mean to put one of them in the fucking ambush room. Like, the ambush rooms are so fucked up. Um, well, I guess it's better this ambush room than the other ambush room in this area, which is right at the start, in the first half. Which is just... I didn't even finish that one in co-op. Like, I was just... I completely gave up on trying. It was just... Horrible. Uh, okay, so... There's no vestige here. Yeah. Not this ambush? Wait, seriously? Oh god, that's the worst one. Why would they put one there? Oh well. Fair enough. As long as we have help, it's fine, I guess. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I purposefully avoided that entire section of the map because I hate that ambush, but... I guess that was a bad idea. Not, I mean, now that Kotori mentions it, I think I got a vestige from there last time. Because I, like, um, I ran there, I picked it up, and I, like, ran back and I died. Actually, I might have actually made it all the way back to, um, the, um, missile, I'm not sure. I just know that I didn't fin I did not clear the actual ambush. I specifically, like, um... Just ran away and chickened out because yeah, like I did try fighting it twice, maybe even three times, um, at first. But like, when I say that they just don't stop coming, that they're endless, these fucking uh, fights. Like I'm not joking. Uh, I think no, this is the wrong way. Uh, I think like. Um, I went through like three or four waves of just new enemies spawning and they're all like really difficult enemies and that was on the regular difficulty and this is on the harder difficulty so I don't even want to like imagine how tough they're going to be now but as long as I, if I just have to like run and grab something I guess it'll be fine. I can't use my teleport item because we're playing multiplayer but I don't mind losing the haste, if it means I can at least get the good ending, I suppose. There it is. That's really annoying. Yep, there we go. One of the losses invading the search bot. Okay, let's do this. Mm. 
Next wave. Oh, I guess maybe I guess we're over leveled now though. Even for hard. Maybe this won't be so bad. Oh, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> ah shit, and I got hit with leak. That's not good. Do you have an anti-weak anti item on me? I do not. That's four waves. Oh, I should have Queen's Guards now as well. Five waves. Okay, it wasn't more than five waves. That's still too many, but we we did it. Somehow we fucking did it. Uh, that's amazing. Did not actually think that would work out. I just felt like killing that one because I knew I knew about that enemy. Okay, so now we have to go back to the thing. Uh, which means I have to stop the cooperation. And I have to teleport to my missile. Right again after the vestiges. Cool, cool, cool. A little sad that none of the people who were uh, watching me stream this during the first playthrough seems to be joining for the new Game Plus stuff. That's a bit of a shame, but I guess also I stream during irregular hours, so that's my own damn fault, really. I think I'm going to go buy some uh, stuff and upgrade some stuff before I actually start the boss fight, too. Maybe I should do that now, actually, just right away. I wish you could just call up Coco and uh, uh, Murasane at will from the missile. I started working on my game of the year list the other day. Um, like actually like figuring out what my current games, like where they rank and such. Um, this is going to be like the first year where I actually might have a full top 10 list, which is pretty cool. Um, like other years I have had um, like 10 games I like maybe, but not but like not always games that I like so much I feel like they're deserving of a reward so I've sort of cut down to maybe like top 5 and stuff like that um, here we go do I want to transform that one Start with an ISIS? No. Actually, maybe this. No, that's Harmonia. What's ISIS? Oh, Lightning. Okay. Cool. I'm going to go to you. Yes, you do indeed have everything that we want. You're wonderful. Um, oh, you only have two region users, though. 
I'll take him anyway. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you like uh, food. So here, have a tomato order sandwich. Sixty points, nice. Mm. I wish you could preview the stamps before you buy them. But I guess they're also the more cheap stuff, so it's not too much of a loss if you don't end up liking it. Um, where is Mia? There's Mia. All oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me drink your blood in a boring black screen instead of an actual cool blood drinking animation, which would have really, really, really made it so much more cool and more vampire feeling. And I don't know why they don't have that. Whatever. Here, have some tea. Sure is. Wait, 46 trading points? So they do carry over? Huh. I can finally buy her... Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'm not sure if you like this other stuff, but how about some spices? Oh yeah, you like that, okay. Some herbs? Oh, she really likes that. Hmm. That's cool. Have a fountain pen. <laughs> Got two points at least. Uh, level up. Only one level, but... Wait, no. I think we can... Damn it, there's still not enough. It was so close that I figured it might actually be enough. Oh, that's annoying. Oh well. Um, here we go. <laughs> I guess I could put Mimikyu here if I want her visible. Just sort of move these games back for now. And then... I'll pick those up later. But yeah, now you can sort of see me in the queue. Yay! Okay. Uh, do I want Giacomo for this boss fight? Yeah, I think I do actually. Okay. First step towards good ending. Let's do this. That mouse pointer is really annoying though. Move it over there. Repair. I think we saw one or two of these in uh, our first playthrough. I will actually go through these. Okay, 
So this must have been when the horror is attacked, right? So that's what it's referring to. Yeah. Yeah, they discovered the boar parasite. They were trying to find a way to make it safe. While doing that, the horrors attacked. And they were forced to create soldiers using the boar parasite applied to corpses to fight back the horrors. This eventually led to the queen, which in turn led to more Revenants being made for the boar parasite to fight the queen, and then it led to the red mist being cutting off the world from horrors. Maybe the red mist came before the queen, I don't remember. She can also use Queen Titanium and Queen Tungsten tutorial text. Okay, let's continue. Garcilla's design is so ridiculous. I'm not sure if it's more or less ridiculous after like, skulking later. Whenever I'm quiet and I look at my audio levels and I see the ticking of the clock making them like little bumps, I keep thinking maybe I should move my analog clock to a different location. <laughs> hey, it's the queen killing everyone. <sighs> so last time we had a tragic possibly one-sided lesbian crush end in death uh, hopefully we will stop that this time at the time I wasn't aware that you could that there was a good ending or that there, like, there were different endings so that you had an ability to manipulate how things would go 
So I was assumed like, yeah, this game is a downer. Of course, it's going to kill off everyone, including, <laughs> including the lesbians. So it's like, hoping we somehow save her now. I'm not sure how that would work, but we'll see, I guess. Last one. This is the one we didn't do last time. Hmm. I think last time we did them with EO too, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. I'm guessing that's Karen. So Karen's the one that's still keeping her to her humanity, even as she's about to frenzy as a successor. They do call it frenzy, right? I'm not just applying Will of Darkness terms here. Pretty sure they call it frenzy. Well, I guess that means we're done. <sighs> I was kind of expecting a cutscene or something, like some indication that I've done right. Um, but I guess that's it. God, this fight is really hard too. Here we go. Sending the stress signal. We have all three. That should be good enough. That's why I remembered it was three. It wasn't that it was three pieces to pick up. It was five pieces, but three was the final count. I think it was six pieces, but you got one in a cutscene, so. <sighs> so I have no idea how this fight will work now, if it will work any differently. The way it worked on the path to the bad, and, and I'm assuming neutral endings, is that you fight it. Uh, or you fight her, it's, it's Aurora, you fight her, and you defeat her, and she resurrects herself from her vestige, and you fight her once again, even more powerful, and then you're like, oh shit, I should probably absorb the vestige, and that's it. We did it in two or three attempts, I think, last time. It actually went pretty well, despite being otherwise an infamously like difficult boss, so... <sighs> Here we go. The 
and taking like taking a long time to get to this point, but here we go. We're changing our fate. God, I missed that screenshot. I was going to take a screenshot of the cathedral zoom out. It was a really cool shot. It's time for Sexy Legs Wolf. Successor of the ribcage. First, we need to run in behind the pillar. To dodge that. Oh shit, that's a laser. Good. First half clear. Assuming there's still a second half. Okay. <clears throat> so now it does even more damage. It also has like a fucking fuck off full wipe ability. Hopefully, we will succeed. Ah, shit, I got hit by a laser. Oh! <clears throat> Whew. 
Why am I doing zero damage? Okay, there we go. Oh, that shot is so cool that I missed it again. But so far, nothing's different. So... Nothing has been different so far. This is the moment of truth then.
その人かけら人柱となって封印したと提唱しているし私はその中の一人フーフーフー何年も前に討伐されたはずだ表向きはねあなたたちは知っているでしょうレブナントは死と再生を繰り返すいわば不死者のような存在でも心臓さえ破壊すれば肉体は消滅し二度と再生することはできなくなる不運はそうなるはずだった不死の中の不死肺になっても不運の再生は止まらなかっただから不運はそう不滅の体である神米を切り刻んで他者の肉体に溶け込ませることによっていたのよそうしてクイーンの脅威を抑えつかの間の平穏が訪れたそれで所詮は救援に。信頼を封印してもクイーンの生の渇望まで沈めることはできなかった継承者の肉体は少しずつ信頼に蝕しばまれ激しい苦痛に苛まれるようになったつまりはあなたたちも見た通り理性を失い欲望のままに暴れる懸念に満ちていく私の心を引き戻してくれたあなたの力クイーンの血を受け継ぐあなたなら何えあなたには侵害を鎮める強さがあるどうか苦しむ彼らを助けてあげて<笑>この扉が継承者の眠る室につながってる。まずは扉を探して今のあなたなら開けられるはずよ私はここでずっと守ってきたのよ他の継承者たちの続く道と血類の源流をやはり血類の源流はここに。扉の奥にあるそこでずっと血の涙を流している人がいる彼女の名前ねエル彼女それはどういう This is the exact same thing that happened in the bad ending There's nothing different Restore memory? This is where things change. Okay. Finally.
Okay. That's interesting. I was kind of thinking that she would regain her human body. Hopefully she does eventually. Is she even moving at all? Huh. That's... Yeah, that's interesting. She's written as a person on the map, so maybe I'll be able to talk to her later? I don't know. Hopefully, like... Um... Hopefully we'll get to restore her human form when we're done with this. I don't think people will be super happy if they have to live as beasts. That doesn't seem like the save everyone approach that Chris, um, you know, Told me to go with. We'll see, I suppose. Oh, hey. Yeah, well, this we've seen. Yeah. Oh, it's Karen. We've seen this. Uh, okay. At least now I know that the things that are different uh, are. Like, are, um, oh yeah, she's also written as a person. Interesting. Um, written, uh, marked as a person. Um, uh, and now I know that, now I know how, how the whole thing differs, so I guess I can actually skip more cutscenes than I thought. Um, because the end of the whole thing is where you restore the memory. That is really neat though, I like this. Oh shit, I forgot Jack comes in the ruins today. I wonder if that will look any different now that we have, you know, Aurora is sleeping in the corner. Doesn't seem to look any different. In fact, Aurora is oh, look, right there actually. This feels like the same cutscene, but that couldn't be it, because obviously... Or they, were they really so mean that they like just the only difference is that uh, Aurora isn't laying there, which means that it just seems that Jack is like looking to the side because he's thinking about something. That's actually kind of brilliant in its own way. Anyway, yeah, this is this is a song that uh, breaks um, uh, into copyright uh, content ID on YouTube, so I'm just going to skip that. But that's really cool. Uh, I wonder if you can exit the cathedral now, because uh, when I um, um, when I uh, 
was on the way to the bad end day, I could not pass through here. <gasps> now I can! See, in the um, in previous playthrough, this orange wall wasn't here. It was just like a straight pass through. And... But there was like an invisible wall that I couldn't pass through right here. So I had to keep teleporting between that po point and that point to get past to talk to uh, or to pick up the vestige that was here. Of course, now the vestige isn't here because I guess that's one of the differences towards the good ending. Which is neat. Cool. We've done good. <sighs> Next up will be the fucking winter. Wonderland, the mountains. God, I hated that place. No, I didn't. It was fun, but I hated some parts of that place. So many places you can fall down to your death. I'm not doing that tonight, no. I am going to unlock the, um, the last vestige, however. Let's see, it's the mountains, and then it's the caverns, and then it's the desert. No, before the desert, it's the uh, burning city. Then it's desert, and then it's endgame. Actually, she didn't even do that, uh, because that happened in the bad ending. Successor of the ribcage. Did I call Aurora something else earlier? I think I accidentally went with the wrong successor name at one point. Hmm. 
So this is where EO joins your party as a play as a partner character, but I've been playing with EO since New Game Plus because New Game Plus. <clears throat> she has my favorite partner character actually. I thought Mia would be, but um, I don't know, Mia is good when you need a ranged character, but EO is just like all around great. Oh, I just the EOS vestiges that appear where they stand, right? So, yeah, I guess that the first one is picked up by. Uh, I was about to say Hugo, but that's God Eater, Louis. <laughs> Yeah, Eo is great at fighting. Um, in fact, even though I don't have to switch there, I'm going to switch there. And I'm also going to... <gasps> I don't have anything to give her! Then how will I get her halberd? Ah! Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, I want to do the last... Oh, I thought... Didn't it say when I defeated, when I defeated, um, right when I finished the, oh no, I'm, okay, no, I know what I'm thinking. Um, you're always our assistant, EO, you're perfect. Um, there it is, ISIS message 4, of course, because I already got the whole memory thing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I guess that's it for now then. Hello. Thank you, human woman. Oh man, now I can give stuff to people. <laughs> Um, I think I can give her herbs. Ah, that didn't go well. Oh, it's enough. I can finally buy that halberd. Yay! The innocent eel. <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't think I've ever tried giving her liquor. 
wonder what she says. Okay, it's a mediocre item. So you remember how like um or you, you might you might you might remember is the wrong word. Uh, someone data mined the game and found out that there are um um there are pizza hut um yeah yeah we're a successor um ah nice um Bardish! <laughs> Where's the one I'm looking for? There, Damarang. Yeah, pizza, like, there was a Pizza Hut tie-in. There is a Pizza Hut tie-in in the game where you can give, apparently you can give pizzas from Pizza Hut as an exchange thing. Like, it's not available in the game, but it's in there. It's in the code. Um, I'm just wondering, like, was it a case of it's a case of like something they have planned for later on. Like, do, do they have a deal with Pizza Hut like to start on next year or something, or is it the other way around? Like, did they maybe uh, have a Pizza Hut deal and like they got it early, and then because they delayed the game, realized, oh shit, we're we're going to like miss the point. Like, we're going to, like, our, our deal will have run out when the game launches, and they took it out. Like, I don't, we, we don't know, obviously, but, like, I don't know, it's funny either way. Um, need Queen Steel for more. That's not, that's not hard to find, it's just a bit annoying, because of RNG, it has a pretty good, um, like, it's really good for its low level already. That should be nice, and it's also it also weighs less than the Queen Slayer, so yeah, definitely gonna keep upgrading that one. I'm also I also want to upgrade. Uh, is it Brodia? Is that the one that's? Um. Yeah, that Mia's. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade that one as well. Compare that to my Queen Slayer Bennett. Six, six eleven right now. Six, okay, so it's actually as good as my current bayonet at a lower level. That is really good. It's not as good as my uh, other Queen Slayer bayonet, but that's way higher level, so that's understandable. That's cool. That's really cool. <clears throat> There we go. <laughs> wow, the disappointment. Uh, that one can be very useful, actually. Alright, I think that's enough. Thank you for watching. If anyone did, I will go through you in here at the end. Um, and, yeah. We'll tackle the mountains probably tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll see. Bye-bye.